Today in this video we're going to make macaroni and cheese in a crock pot. Here's the ingredients you'll need. One block of cream cheese, three cups of cheddar cheese, one can of evaporated milk, three and a half cups of milk, and two tablespoons of butter. First we'll put the cream cheese in the crock pot, like this, and then I like to chop it up in pieces to make it a little bit easier to melt as it cooks. You can use fat-free cream cheese or whatever sort of cream cheese you like. I just use regular cream cheese in mine. I'll just chop this up a little bit here. Okay, good. There we go. Spread it out a little bit. Alright, and there's the cream cheese. Next, we'll add the cheddar cheese to the crock pot. And that's uh, three cups, roughly. Next up, we're going to throw in the evaporated milk. This is one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. There we go. Next, we're going to put in our butter. And you can use salted or unsalted, whatever you prefer. Uh, I think I used unsalted in this batch. Then pour in the milk. Uh, this is three and a half cups of milk. You can use any kind of milk you want. You can use whole milk or skim milk or whatever. I normally use 1% milk because that's what I have on hand. And I didn't have a measuring cup big enough to hold all three and a half cups, so I had to use two different cups to hold my milk. Now after that's all in there, just give everything a good stir. Mix it together. It's very simple. There's only a few ingredients. And then uh, just put the, uh, the lid on your crock pot and put it on low. And we're going to cook it on low for 45 minutes. While your crock pot is cooking, put on a pot of water to boil. And we're going to boil one pound of elbow macaroni or whatever your favorite macaroni is that you like in mac and cheese. I cook mine for about 10 minutes or until it's done. Then you want to drain your macaroni well. Make sure you're always pouring away from yourself so you don't get hot steam in your face when you're draining your macaroni. Want to be safe. And we just take our drained macaroni and we're going to add it in. Take the lid off carefully. Wear a glove now because everything is hot at this point. And we're going to pour our hot macaroni into the mixture. Again, be careful when you're pouring this stuff because everything is hot. You don't want to get burned. I just use a spoon and scrape the rest of the macaroni out of the colander, make sure I get it all. all right. And you just want to give everything a good stir, mix it all together. And it looks a little stringy at this point, but it'll, it'll get better as it cooks. And just put the lid on your crock pot and continue cooking for another 45 minutes. After 45 minutes is done, take the lid off and this is what your macaroni looks like. Just give everything a good stir and mix it all together. And right now, at this point, it's done and it's ready to eat. If, like me, you think this is probably a little bit too dry because this always dries up quite a bit as it cooks because the starch comes out of the macaroni and thickens everything up, you can always uh, add some more milk to thin it back out and make it creamier or you can eat it just as it is. Uh, in my case, I usually add a little bit more milk at the end. So here's mine. I've added some milk to it. And you can see it's quite a bit creamier now and it's got some moisture to it. And then the last step is uh, test it, uh, taste it for seasoning. It may need some salt, it may not. It depends on your personal taste. I like to add a little bit of salt here at the end. I'm using kosher salt, but you can use regular table salt too. And just mix in your macaroni. And it's ready to go. You're ready to eat. And you can you can freeze this too. You can put it in containers, keep it in the freezer until you want it. Makes great leftovers. And uh, I'm just going to give it uh, a bit of a taste here. It's still hot. I have to blow on it. Mm, that's good. Good stuff. Mm -mm. Thumbs up. So if you like my video, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and see you later.